Sassy with Vintage Remedies and I'm going to show you how to make a pre-made owie compress. This is the time of the year for bumps and bruises and bee stings and if you have little ones there's always some sort of owie that's in need of attention and you don't necessarily have the time to take all your favorite herbs, weigh them out, infuse them, wait for it to be ready. By then they've long forgotten and they're on to the next thing. So this is something that we keep on hand at our house. It's one of my absolute favorite preparations. It's a pre-made compress. You can store them in the back of the fridge and apply them as needed. They're great for camping, anything like that, and they're really simple to do in just a few minutes at the beginning of the summer and you're set for the entire summer. We're gonna take three of my favorite herbs. We have Arnica. Arnica is great for any sore muscles, back aches, anything like that that has to do with your muscles, muscle spasms, anything like that. We have five grams of Arnica that we're gonna put in here. And we're using the little feathery petals of the plant for this. To that, we're gonna add calendula, an herb that we use very frequently here at Vintage Remedies. It's an anti-inflammatory herb. It's very soothing. It's perfect for all summertime needs. We made a calendula salve earlier. Um, it's just really a must have in any house with kids. And we're also putting five grams of the calendula in here, so it's equal parts. And then to that, we're adding chickweed, and it's kind of a yellowy green dried plant. It's again, anti-inflammatory, great for bumps, bruises, bee stings, any of that kind of stuff that comes along during the summer. And we're gonna add that to our beautiful yellow petals that we have done in here. Now to this, we, we also used five grams of that, so we have um, 15 grams of herbs total in here. We're adding one cup of coconut oil. Now this is one of the rare situations where you actually cannot substitute another oil. We have to use coconut oil for this particular project and you need to use the kind that has a 76 degree melting point, which is just standard coconut oil that you would use for cooking. And you'll see why in a little bit. You don't have to melt the coconut oil prior to putting it on to your herbs that you're going to infuse because the heat from the oven will do that. We're going to put this container into the oven for at about 250 to 275 degrees for a couple of hours. The oil's going to melt. It's going to infuse with all of the great benefits from our anti-inflammatory herbs. When it comes out, we're going to use some cheesecloth and strain it. And then we're going to have this infused coconut oil. Now, at this stage, you want to work kind of quickly because the coconut oil, depending on the temperature in your home, is going to start solidifying again at 76 degrees. So if it's colder than that in your home, it's going to solidify right there in your kitchen. We're going to take that and we're going to take just these sterile little gauze pads that you get in any first aid kit. You can find them at the pharmacy. Or if you want to, you can also take uh, flour sack towels and cut them into two by two little bits like this. And then I like to use these little wax paper bags. They're all natural, but they are coated so that everything won't stick to them. You can use just some parchment paper or even your countertop, depending on what it's made out of. And we're going to dip these squares into the infused coconut oil and thoroughly saturate them, just like we're going to use the oil as a compress. But instead of applying it to our skin, we're going to put it on our parchment and let it sit. And then what we're going to do from there is we're going to put it in the back of the fridge for a while, or you can even stick it in your freezer if you're in a hurry. The coconut oil will solidify. It will actually become thick and solid. And then you can stack them in those um, little parchment bags or wax paper bags or even just a regular bag. They're going to look like this. They might be a little misshapen depending on how the oil solidified and then when you need to use them they're already cold because they've been in the fridge you can just pull them right out the warmth from your skin is obviously higher than 76 degrees so it's going to melt the coconut oil and you have an instant immediate cooling anti-inflammatory compress you can make dozens of them at the beginning of the summer store them in the back of the fridge and they're ready to go whenever you need something for an owie for more information like this join us at vintageremedies.com